Welcome back everybody to another episode of Minecraft. I'm up early this morning, got up at the roosters, out here surveying the land, trying to find a good spot to build something. That's half the battle, people, when you're building something epic in Minecraft, you gotta find you a good spot to build stuff. Out here checking this desert out, thinking about building a nice house out in the desert. But that ain't why you guys are here. You guys came here to see the new build, didn't you? Well, i tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hop up here, I'm gonna jump in Cousin Eddie's helicopter, we're gonna fly over to the new house, and while I do that, I want y'all to check out a little ad from our sponsor. All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you could uh, enjoy that little commercial break there. Hope you all check out Elgato Gaming. They have some good capture devices to record your gameplay with. But this is the epic house we've been talking about. We have been working vigorously. I'm telling you, the LMCC crew has been in full effect. Check out the little fountains right here. We're pumping water out of the ocean and the lagoon at about 30,000 gallons. Uh, I believe an hour or some shit like that, just to pump the water up through the fountains to get them come out of the ground and flow all the way down to the front there to fill them little front entrance way. Just, you know, kind of make it a little flashy, but nice view right here of the lagoon. This house is huge. This could be the biggest house we've ever built. We're going inside and we'll show you, take you into the great room. Now look at this, that chandelier. My God, you talking about room now. now this has got some room. And I'm, I'm gonna let y'all in on a little something. I ain't supposed to tell you who is buying this house, but they got a little something to do with Microsoft. And his name kind of is like, it's like uh, Gil Bates, something like that. And I mean, you know, y'all can figure it out, whatever it is. But anyway, this is his house. He, he had us build that. And I'm telling you, this is a fine structure. Look at the iron railing all the way over top of the catwalk. And check, I mean, the, the, the lighting features alone in the tile floors. I mean, the floors are done in Italian marble. It's just, it's amazing. It, it, the money that the guy put into this, but now he went for perfection. He said, now let me tell you something. Money isn't going to hold this back. Y'all got an unlimited budget. Do whatever you want to do with it. Just make it the best thing that you can possibly make it. I'm going to take you over here and show you the back side of the great room. But like I said, it's not completely fully furnished. Most of it is, but he's going to add a few things that he wants to do here. But I told him, you know, there ain't nothing really needs to go in this great room. It's just too too nice. And they got the lit up floor with glass over top of it. You can't beat that. Check out the kitchen. Look at the kitchen. I tell you, a man can get him a meal in this bitch. Look at this. Look at that. Check it out. He's even got a cookbook. It <laughs> comes equipped with a cookbook. That's uh, that's grandma's chicken cooking right there. I'm telling you, that. that's grandma's secret recipes right there. I, I gave that to him. I figured, you know, the least I could do with the kind of money he paid us to have this house built. Got a nice view of the ocean from every... And that's the key thing about this house, guys. This house is being built on a corner lot on the ocean. So you can only imagine how much that costs. It, it's, it's just epic. It, it's just... But the detail, the attention to detail that's put into this house, the ceilings, 10 foot high ceilings in all the rooms, except the great room. The great room's like, I think it's 30 some foot, 40 some foot high, something like that. But this right here, this stairway takes you to the upstairs and uh, we're gonna take you into the master bedroom. You get into this way. And he's got a big screen TV in his master bedroom. Got a huge bed, nice couch to lounge around in in front of the windows there. But yeah, he just, you know, went the iron posts along with the lighting all these new the, he's got a more upscale more uh, uh what's the word i'm looking for more of a modern age style to this house it, a lot more modern than what we normally do more normally we use a lot of wood and go with the old antique stuff guys nice ba master bath in here check out he's got the shitter you know look at you can't you gotta have your nice potty as a matter of fact it's not a bad idea i think i, I might just uh yeah i'm gonna Y'all pardon me just a moment. I gotta I gotta take care of some business right here real quick. But now y'all just hang on a second. We'll get we'll get done with that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, this the great bathroom here. Plenty of room. Got a nice vanity. Uh, lit up, very nice. Got the mirror in effect. Got the nice hot tub, jacuzzi type bathtub. You know, all that good stuff. But no, I was just bullshitting y'all. I didn't crap in the shitter yet. But I will later on. When he comes over and has a Super Bowl party or some shit like that, and we, we, I might have to use that bathroom, especially if he gives me some chicken wings. I love the chicken wings, but they sure do like to come out off a quick. But no, this catwalk right here, this takes you from one side of the house to the other side of the house. But I'm not going to show you what's in the other side of the house. That, that's, in, that's a feature for later on. I'll show you guys that here in a little while. I'm going to save that for last. But what we're going to do right here, we're going to come in here, just... Take another little look, see at this master bedroom. Great bedroom, huge, big, a lot of space. That's that's what he mainly was going for. He wanted a lot of space at this house. 
but you know, is what it is. I'm gonna take you out on the back patio and, and just give you an idea of the kind of view that this guy has. I mean, it's it's amazing. This was the best lot on the on the property. I really do think it was. I mean, look at that the ocean. You get up every single morning, can walk out here with a cup of coffee. You got the ni nice couple lounge chairs right there to, to sit around in and, and just take in the view. And the sun rises to the to the right of the house and it sets to the left of the house. It's just, or no, sun rises to the left of the house and sets into the right of the house. So, I mean, it's, it's beautiful sunset and sunrise all the time. Got a nice little outdoor uh, grill, uh, fire pit, not grill, fire pit area. Just another lounging area for the big lagoon and the, and the ocean. You can see it from every angle. Just, it's a great place to relax. This house, it, it's got all the features that you really want. I mean, as far as going for, for just something to, to kick back and relax, and an escape and you can imagine a guy like uh, Gil Bates there you, you know he's going to he's got a busy schedule he's, he's under a lot of stress dealing with a lot of money all the time so you know he needs a place to come relax and that's what he want, wanted from us he's like you know y'all I want you guys to build me something don't let money hold you back maybe something nice big spacious and relaxing and also he had a few features for entertainment purposes you know we got some more lounging areas to sit here on this balcony this balcony right here this is the upper balcony it's the third floor of the house this is no yeah third floor of the house this balcony goes all the way around the entire house you, the whole house you can, you can see every angle from up here another view from the ocean i mean I'm, the views is just unbelievable i love this lot the, the, this area right here i think it was 10 lots he bought just to get this house built on it but you know it's worth every penny of it i, I mean i in my opinion that's what i would do i'd have spent all the money i could have just to make sure i got you know the right spot and he done everything he could. Like I said, he's got the lagoon, for, and he's got the ocean. He's got it all. I mean, got the view of the other houses. Got another little sitting area out here on this side. This way, you know, you sit up here and watch the sunrise. Go on the other side and watch the sunset. A comfortable lounging area to do it all. I'm sure he'll probably put some more things out there, but you never know. I'm going to take you inside the third floor right here. This is more of a, of a guest recreation area. Kind of, you know, he put a little bit of entertainment along with this uh, this extra bedroom right here. You know, nice little bed, got a storage area, a couple of uh, dresser drawer areas just to kind of put your stuff or whatever. But, you know, very laid back. But this right here, you got a pool table. You got the uh, big screen TV, nice couch, comfy couch to set in, watch big uh, movies or whatever on your big screen TV. But it's kind of like a, it's like a guest's own house built on the house and yeah, this nice pool table right here this is a great pool table but yeah i mean you know guests can come and have their own fun and of course he has parties and things like that we we built it uh, with a <laughs> come equipped with the dance floor guys check it out check out the dance floor got the bar back here to serve up the drinks so you have parties and everything when you're having guests just have a bunch of parties but you guys know what happens whenever i gets to the dance floor i gotta do it can't help it just one of those things. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, get down. Come on now. Work, girl. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Watch the go now. Watch the go now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Check a run. Check a run, run. Check a run. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Check a run. Check a run, run. Oh, yeah. Y'all know what you're working with now. You don't know what you're working with. Look at that. Check a run. Check a run. Y'all thought Beyonce was badass at the time. Super Bowl party. Check me out. Get in my groove now. Oh, yeah. Get on now. Get it done. Uh, get down. No. No bad shit. Anyway, I got to go on with the tour, guys. If you hear a lot of banging and stuff going on in the background, I, I deeply apologize for that. Got my, my, my kids are having some friends over, and I think they're having a damn WWE wrestling match upstairs above me. And it's just part of it. That's my daily life. You know, go to work all day long, come home, listen to kids play wrestling and all that good stuff. But yeah, it is what it is. We have a good time. But I'm going to take you all downstairs here. Check out the the basement area. But this isn't like no normal basement. I mean, this this thing isn't like, you know, you, your cinder block walls with your mildew and all that other shit and concrete floors and some rafters and, and stuff like that. No, no, no. No, no. Nothing like that down here. He's even got a, look at this. He's got a place to park his yacht and his boats. That's covered. That way, if it's weather be raining or whatever when he comes off the ocean, you can secure it here underneath the shed and not have to worry about getting wet. The dude thought of everything. Or we thought of everything for the dude. <laughs> but that's, you know, that's LMCC for you guys. I'm telling you, when we build, we build with class and we build with style. 
Everything's measured off perfectly. The same width and distances between each door. I mean, we attention to detail. That's our main focus. When we get set up to build, Dynamo LSG chief engineer was involved in every single bit from the from the from the grade work to the roof. He was involved in every bit of this. When me and Dynamo get together and start to build something, it's ridiculous. I'm telling you, it's just like it's nothing. You, you can't think of anything else. It's just it's ridiculous the things we can think of and how much we think alike. But this is the pool area. This is the underground entertainment area. You got a pool, got the waterfalls there, and check out the little the little uh, cafeteria area. You got a place to eat, serve up drinks, bar and grill. You know, roast a pig back there if you want to. Do whatever you want. You know, all the things provided. Got it there coffee machine back here did you see that thing sitting on the corner there but i'm gonna take it behind the counter and check it out got a little recipe book trash cans and everything you know everything's set up whatever you need all that you need all the houses come perfectly equipped that way whenever we build you guys know that we don't we don't pull no punches when it comes to building a house i'm telling you we got a bowling alley the first time ever lmcc has built a bowling alley in a house and i gotta think you know you gotta thank dynamo lsg for this one it, it, it came to his head. He was like, you know what? We got we to gotta do a bowling alley. I said, you know, that would be a good idea. So we talked with uh, Gil Bates, and he was like, hell yeah, man. We got to do that. We got to do that. You put me a bowling alley in here. So we went and installed him an indoor bowling alley. It, it's great. You can't, you know, get the rails and all that good stuff. It's just awesome. I, I, we had a good time. Dynamo and I sat down there and bowled a few frames. It was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Got a popcorn machine. Look at that. Can't beat it, boys. Can't beat it. Got a popcorn machine. You gotta love the popcorn machine indoor pool that actually connects to the outdoor pool they're all connected got a volleyball net out here so you can play some volleyball on the beach got a nice little umbrella area and a, and a lounge area to, to lay around on and all that good stuff you know we come up we're trying to think of everything that we could possibly think of to provide him with anything and everything he would need. And if he doesn't have one, he gets here to get the house, you know, we'll, we'll provide it for him. We'll, we'll come in and install it later. But I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fly around here, let y'all get an aerial look of it. I'll be right back. This, this is the Hoogles production. This is the Ladies and gentlemen, I hope y'all enjoyed the little aerial view. Give you a whole full spectrum of how big this house is. It's gigantic. But I've got one more thing I want to show y'all. Y'all remember the west wing or the east wing that I told you guys I was going to show y'all later on? Well, we're going to go show it to you right now. And you know we're going to have to put this in the house. Check it out. His own movie theater. <laughs> That's right. He's got his own movie theater in his house. This is the upper balcony. You know, this is kind of a reserve penthouse suite reserve seating area and all that good stuff you know is what it is but you know guys on little table set up here but yeah nice little balcony gives them a nice overlook view of it but now we're going to go around here and going to take you down to the to the regular seating area for all the guests and everything like i said the guy likes to entertain he was like look i want a house that's big spacious quiet and reserved for me to go and rest and relax at but i also want to be able to entertain my friends and have all my friends over and we can have a big eyed time and it just you know Provide him with anything and everything you wanted. Check out the big screen. I mean, look at this. This is a movie theater. Shit, I'm gonna move in this house. I will live here. <laughs> this is where I want to live at. I don't know why I keep building all these damn mansions for you. Last last video I built a, a mansion for Skill O'Neill, Shack Attack, and then now I got one going for Gil Bates, and you know, is what it is. But anyway, that's it guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this Minecraft episode. Hope y'all enjoyed this build. If you can come up with any ideas for us to build something and wants to build something, just let us know. Leave it in the comments. PM me. Let me know what you all want us to build. But I'm going to check out this flick real quick and hope you all have a good one. We'll see you. Yes.